Welcome back, friends. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this open zipper with this background in behind. I just have one favor to ask you that if you learn anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on so that you know when some cool tutorials are coming out. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we're starting off this tutorial with a YouTube thumbnail. It is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm going to start by searching for a zipper. And um, since I've recently used a zipper, this is the one that I'm going to use. Now, obviously, this zipper is not big enough to go all the way to the edges. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'll leave it like that. And I'm just going to try and center it like that. All right. Now I'm going to take a copy of this. And because I couldn't find a zipper that was long enough to go all the way to the edges of my workspace, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crop this like that. And then I'm going to make a copy. I'll just leave that one right there. And I'm going to crop it from the right like that. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it to this end over here. And I'm just going to rotate a little bit and kind of overlap it so that it looks like it's continuing like that. I'll take another copy and I'll just continue to extend it. And I'll do the same on this side. And I'll take this one and do the same. All right, so now that I have my zipper made, what I need to do is I need to um, make this top part V transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to position and layers and I'm going to shade the background yellow just so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make that a brighter yellow like that. All right. Now what we need to do is we need to make this V transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a line. This is a shape line. It's not a graphic line. And we're going to move it up to the top here. And we're going to go into corner rounding and we're going to choose curved option. And I'm going to bring this down here. Now I'm going to go into the lines and borders and I'm going to increase the weight of this line. I'm going to try and make it as thick as I possibly can. And I want this uh, line, this rounded line, to cover half of my zipper. So I'm just going to try and um, shape it so that it's where at the position where I want it. And that's just fine right there. So I'm going to grab another line and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put that line up here. And I'm going to go to um, curves and I'm going to choose the curved option. And I'm going to grab the end here and I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm going to go to thickness. I'm going to make it as thick as I can and then move it over the zipper like this. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm now going to place another shape on my workspace, but I'm going to change it to a rectangle and I'm going to wedge this rectangle right inside they're trying to match the seam of that black border because I want it to be even. So I'm going to leave that right there. 
I'm going to grab another shape. So I'll go back to elements and I'll make this a little bit narrower and I'll put that right there and bring it here to cover the top. I'll grab another shape and I'll bring it here. I'll grab another one and this time I'll extend it to cover the yellow part up top like that. And again, this might take a couple of times for you to do this. And this might take you a couple of, this might take you a little while to actually, this might take a little bit of squares and you might need a lot of shapes to do this, but um, now that we've got it all covered, what we're going to do is we're going to change the colors of the shape to white. So I'm going to grab all of the shapes, the shapes only. And I'm going to go to the color chooser and I'm going to change them all to white. Now, what I also want to do is I want to change the color of that, these curved lines to white as well. So I'll change that to white. And now I want to bring all of that to the back. So I'm going to grab my zipper and I'm going to bring it all the way to the top. Now I did take an opportunity to group all of the individual zippers together um, so that it's just one grouping. That way I'm not going to accidentally move one of them. Okay, so now that we have our um, zipper opening up, I'm going to keep that yellow background um, there and I'm going to come to the share option and I'm going to download this. So I'm going to download that page. I'm going to create a new page while that's downloading. And I'm going to delete that yellow background. And I'm going to bring that uh, photo that we just, or that image that we just downloaded onto my workspace. Now that I have it on my workspace, I'm going to go into, I'm going to click it and I'm going to go into BG Remover and I'm going to remove the background. All right, now it did remove some of the zipper, but that's okay because what we're going to do is we're actually going to come back up top here and we're going to grab that zipper and we're going to paste it back on this page to overlap the zipper that's already there. Before we do that, I'm just going to um, extend this all the way on my page and now I'm going to paste that zipper right on top. So as we can see the zipper is now right on top of where the original image um, had it. And now what we're going to do is we can put a photo in behind. So I'm just going to go into elements. You can put a photo in behind. You can put um, some text in behind. And what I'm going to do with this background is I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. And I'll just place it up top like that. And I'll go to position and layers and I'm going to move it all the way to the back behind that zipper. And there you have it. It's a zipper opening up to a highway. I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every single week to teach my adult learners what they want to know. So for now, if there's anything else that you want to see, drop it down in the comments. I'll make a tutorial just for you. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time. Bye-bye.